everybody, I'm Dave Carger, and I am joined by Richard Gere, star of Arbitrage. Richard, first of all, welcome. Thank you Thanks. for being here. Thanks. I have picked probably my favorite scene from your movie. Uh, it's with you and Britt Marling playing your daughter. So we're gonna take a look at it and pause it at certain moments and dissect it a little bit. Everybody wins. Yes. If we sell the company. It'll sell. If I lie for you. You don't have to lie. You didn't know about it. That's why I didn't tell you. I'm the chief investment officer of this company. What do you think they're gonna say at the deposition? She didn't know. It's a very well constructed scene and it's kind of invisible how it's done. You see me have to gather myself and try another approach with her to maintain control. They'll take away my brokerage license, failure to supervise you, my name in every paper and blog while I visit your ass in jail. Did you want me to let our investors go bankrupt? Is that what you wanted? You wanted people to get really that hurt. That gives you the audacity you to think that you be can be no, because, because it's my job. Job. Yes. It's illegal. This is where he reveals his inner self. And that came out of an improvisation. It, it was written, I'm your partner. And as we were in rehearsal, I said, you're not my partner. You work for me. And, and as I started to go with that feeling, it became everyone works for me. And that's probably the truest thing that he says in the movie, is this is who I am. It's illegal, and I am your partner. You are not my partner. You work for me. That's right, you work for me. Everybody works for me. Please, please. Come here. Just... Were you able to be relaxed when you shot this, or were you tensed up because of the subject matter? Younger, I think I probably w w was holding on to things more, holding on to the character, didn't want to give up the character for fear that he'd go away if you don't hold on. And I think in that sense, it, it kind of takes you over. For me, it's, it's, it, you stop a, a movement. All, all of life changes constantly, and characters change. You can't hold them. Mm. You know? So at this point, it's much easier just to let a character, once you, you've welcomed them in and they trust you, and you trust them, they can come and go fairly easily. You know, there's always going to be a little residue left over, for sure. But it's, you know, that that kind of the the in and exit doors flow fairly easily yeah. once the mechanism gets used to it. I'm a patriarch. That's my role, and I have to play it. The moment that I thought you were going to say you were sorry. So why do you think he's able to say, I'm sorry, after she's gone, but not to her? Because he's not really there and he's not really sorry. <laughs> he knows the form, the rhythm of what's going on. He should say, I'm sorry. And there are many times in our lives when we realize we wish we were better people than we are. And I don't think he's really earned at this point for the genuine emotional, I'm sorry. Mm. Well, that's a great moment in a really terrific performance, so well done. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us here. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely.